Hello, everyone. After what has been several years of uh, hard work, and um, after my fourth night on call, I just received this. I'm happy to say that my book, Words of a Feather, The Mystic Musings of a Medical Man, is finally out. It's not yet available on Kindle, and sample pages aren't yet available on Amazon or on the publisher's website, but they will be in the next couple of weeks, and I'll post that up for anyone who wants to see a sample page. But uh, I could just read the back of it for you, for anyone who's interested, and um, I would love for you to, to read the poems. Um, it chronicles a uh, tempestuous uh, period in my life, um, an ex existential crisis of sorts, from which I, uh, I emerged a new, what I consider a new person. So it says, John F. Deacon is a medical doctor who composed his first published poem at the age of 13. He went on to win the Bedfordshire section of the Future Writers Remus House Poetry Competition at the age of 17, securing £2,000 for a sixth form in the process. An intense period of introspection in his early 20s plunged him into the depths of his psychological world, resulting in an unexpected phase of prolific creative output. He emerged from this inner journey with numerous poems as his prize and a greater clarity about his place and purpose in the world. It is his hope that those who shall find themselves in a similar position may find peace, comfort and inspiration in his words. I will read the last poem because the one that essentially summarizes um, this period. Um, and then if you enjoy, please, please do purchase the book. Um, it'll be available on Amazon UK for £10 in soft cover. And um, hardback will be around £15 and the Kindle version will be around £3. So, um, go ahead, read it. This one's called The Alchemist, or Autobiography of a Poet. I did long seek that peace profound, wondering where it should be found. Sought for it in my travels far, in sandcastles built afar. Searched humankind's vast libraries, through numerous terms I poured, till racked my brain did overstretch, and life swift was shipwrecked. Defined, I looked further still, it lies in solving mankind's ills, but elusive sweet serenity did never visit me. I loved and prayed that love's return would quench my agony, and sweet embrace did seek peace of mind, but instead lost my mind. Exhausted, I summoned the posthumous rest of my true and honest friend. In self-pity, I paid within, and lo, they found my gold. Thank you for listening. Please take a look at the book. Blessings.